Hey guys, Births Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to use the foliage editor, allowing you to quickly populate your scene with uh, assets, you know, and that's really great for adding things like grass, trees, rocks, whatever. And today what I want to do is just get a few of those assets into your scene and play around with some of the different settings that you have available for adding variety. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, show you what I just did here quickly. You saw that I was able to just pretty much paint on these trees. I'm able to paint on the rocks and you can also see that they're all coming in in different sizes, um, different rotations and so on and so forth. And that's pretty much what I want to be showing you how to do. Now this tool is absolutely brilliant, the foliage editor, simply because it actually allows you to populate your scene really quickly as opposed to going ahead and uh, adding in each tree one by one by hand, you know, dragging and dropping it. So. Let me just go ahead and delete all these instances that I have of rocks, trees, uh, and whatnot. And we're going to have pretty much a fresh slate. Now, you may or may not have some of these assets that I have. Um, you do get a couple of rocks and whatnot with the starter content. I also uh, pretty much stole a couple of trees from the landscape demo, which you can find in the, uh, in, the, in the Unreal Marketplace. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you want to go over to the foliage editor. You can press Shift 4 to get there click that and then you can see you've got your paint settings up here this is probably some of the most important stuff so first things first you've got your brush size paint density and then you've got your erase density but but, but we'll go over that in a little bit more detail later on so let's start off by adding in a few rocks now I'm pretty sure all of you have uh, a couple of rocks in the start content so go to your content browser go and find some meshes wherever those might be props and let's bring in this rock. I'm just going to click it and drag it into foliage type. And now we've got our rock here. Now we could just go ahead and select that and then just start painting if you wanted to. But, you know, it doesn't look very good. So let's just go ahead and press Ctrl Z to get rid of those. And we're going to play around with some of the settings. So we got the brush size over here uh, in the top left hand corner. Brush size, you can turn it up or down. If you want to, you know, cover large landscapes real quickly, you might want to turn it up. And then you can just put in a whole bunch of rocks like this. Or if you want to get the fine details, you know, putting them into corners and whatnot, you might want to turn it down a bit. And then you've got your paint density. This is essentially how dense your brush is going to fill up with all these rocks. You can see it's really full there when I turn it up to one. Whereas if I turn it down to, say, 0.7, you can see there's only going to be a few in that, uh, in that little brush. There's a couple of other ways we can do that as well. Um, and then you've got your erase density. I'm not going to go over that in too much detail. So let's take a look at some of the mesh settings that we have here. So if we select our rock, we can go down and we can choose a new mesh if we want to. But we're just going to leave that as it is now. But it just allows you to change, essentially change to any mesh that you want uh, rather than a rock. So we've got density. Uh, same as the paint density. Just changes how many of us going to be inside of your brush when you're painting. You've got your radius. Uh, I'm not going to be going over that as of right now. Uh, you've got your scaling, which allows you to scale it uniform, free, or just lock X, Y, etc., etc. Um, that basically just uh, tries to keep it somewhat together it doesn't stretch it out or any of that stuff um, just play around with that see what happens and this is probably one of the most useful features here so if you've got rocks for example um, you don't want them all to be the same size it's just not going to look realistic it's as simple as that so you can see these are all the same size at the moment if I go ahead and paint the brush but we've got something here called scale X and this is basically the height and it's going to do this uniform so if I set the minimum height to 1 and then the maximum height to five, you're going to see we get some small uh, rocks, we get some big ones, some medium ones, and whatnot. And it just makes it look a little bit more realistic. If I was to go ahead and add a tree into here, um, you would see, you, you'd be able to see that a little bit more clearly. So I'm just going to click and drag a tree in here. You might not have this. Um, if you want to, if I go ahead and quickly paint now with two objects, you're going to see it's going to do them both. Uh, when you want to change to a separate object, just uncheck the second one and then make sure you've got the first one selected and then you can just click and drag. And you can see these trees are all exactly the same size. Doesn't look realistic, you know, trees are different sizes. So let's just go ahead and uh, set the maximum to free. 
and the minimum to one like this and you can see they're all coming out in different sizes now which is brilliant and you know if I go ahead and jump into the scene and I run over to these trees you can see, you can really see them coming out in different sizes the trunks are different the uh, in terms of width the height and all of that good stuff and then we've got a few other different things like we've got uh, we can put random yaw in there Z offset and so on and so forth I'm not really going to be going over all of these settings in today's episode I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to some of the stuff that you can do inside of the foliage editor so before I go I'm just going to quickly chuck some uh, rocks and trees in here just to give you a basic real world example of how you can use this so because I want to fill in this large area real quick I'm going to turn it up the brush scale like this and with the tree selected I'm going to go up I'm going to set the maximum to 2 and then I'm going to leave all the, st all the other stuff exactly how it is and I'm just going to paint these in just like this the density is pretty much perfect right now um, you may also want to play around with a few different types of trees if you're going to be working with this. It also works on grass, um, I'm not going to be going over that in too much detail. But you can see here I've just added in these trees ever so quickly um, and it looks absolutely great. Um, let's just go ahead and add some of these rocks again that I just had. So I'm going to type in rock in the content browser. I'm going to find my rock, uh, preferably the mesh. Uh, let's do this one, click it drag it, bring it in, uncheck the tree so we're not working with the tree anymore because it's rock, it's fine detail, I'm gonna have to turn down the brush size and I'm just gonna go ahead and chuck some of these down the side here and you can see they don't look realistic and it's not dense enough so let's go ahead and turn up the paint density and we're gonna change the maximum to maybe a three on here and we can also play around with like the uh, random your uh, you can see I've got that selected at the moment, random pitch, a uh, max angle, but let's just go ahead and paint this real quick. And you can see they're coming in now, and it looks absolutely great. Obviously with stuff like foliage, um, especially rocks, you're going to want to paint your terrain uh, accordingly. So let's just quickly go ahead and do that. So we've got our, our rock uh, material here, could turn up my brush size real quick, and I'm just going to paint in our uh, little rock texture. Looks a little bit more realistic now. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but here you are. Anyway, it's pretty much everything for this uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and make sure you stay tuned for more. Thank you.